Hi everyone, namaste, it's Lauren. I hope you all are doing well. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit today and share with you how much gratitude I have in my heart for each and every one of you. Sonic is surviving. We have moved through the pandemic. It's been a big struggle and I just wanted to share with you all a bit of a lesson that I've learned. I went surfing the other day and I paddled out into the water and a friend of mine was there who owns a Pilates studio in New York and he asked me how's business, how are things going and I was like well you know it's things are tough, we're struggling and he's like what's happening and I explained to him you know we're at 50% of our capacity, our business and he was like that's amazing and I was like whoa <laughs> he's like are you kidding me? He said it took you 20 years to build up your community at Sonic and within eight months you're already back to 50 percent. He's like look at all the studios that have closed, look at all the businesses that have closed. The fact that you have survived and the fact that you are still thriving even if it's at a smaller capacity is something that you should be proud of, something that you should be so grateful for. And I was like, oh my God, you are so right. And sometimes, you know, as the yoga teacher, you have to be reminded of these things. And so as I was reminded, I just felt this deep wave of gratitude in my heart for Sonic, for, for all of you, for all the teacher trainees that have come through the studio, for all this, the students, the amazing teachers, the karmis, everyone who works behind the scenes to keep the studio going. And I, it just hit me like it's just a matter of perception, right? I mean, we all move through challenges and difficulties in our lives and it's so easy to get caught up and focus on the negative or the struggle. If we can just shift our perspective to look at what we have achieved instead of looking at what we haven't achieved yet, right? Or looking at the glass half full as opposed to half empty. and allowing ourselves to be grateful because even though times can be tough and things can be hard there's usually always pretty much you can always find more good than bad right oh i have my kitty here on my lap she wants to say hello say hi to stardust hello stardust <laughs> she is just crawling all over me so i i hope you all take this little story into heart to your hearts and take a moment as we move toward this holiday season and the celebration of Sonic Yoga to practice gratitude and to practice being thankful. I've included a couple of practices here for you guys to read and review. I know you know a lot of this, but sometimes it helps to have a little bit of a reminder. So I hope to see you all at the party December 4th, Saturday. I miss you all. Sending you lots of love, many blessings. Namaste.